In the UK, there's consistent growth in the number of people who say they regret Brexit. Around 62% of Britons believe leaving the EU is a failure, according to the UK polling company YouGov. Food prices have risen 25% from January 2021, a consequence of the extra trade barriers from leaving the single market. Meanwhile, researchers at the Centre for European Reform say business investment was 23% lower than it would have been in 2021 due to Brexit. Rejoiners say the public is ahead of politicians in calling for the UK to rejoin the EU. I think it's the reality of the cost of living crisis that people who may have been wrapped up in the ideology, the, the debates that we had six years, seven years ago about um, all that sovereignty stuff, of Britain standing on its own and all that sort of stuff, have just come face to face with the fact that there are more important things in life. Can you feed your kids? Right now, half of low income families in the UK are skipping meals to feed their kids. We cannot afford Brexit. If we can't afford food, we can't afford Brexit. But the process in joining the EU is deeply complex. Moreover, there's no precedent for a country rejoining and the EU has changed significantly since the UK voted to leave in 2016. Meanwhile, there are several other countries waiting in the wings, including Ukraine, as well as countries in the Western Balkans. However, it can be said that the UK side has decided to have a more pragmatic, closer relationship with Brussels in recent months, including when the British rejoined the EU's Horizon Science Programme. It, it is... First and foremost, we'll be talking about an entirely new uh, discussion. Uh, it will not be about a possible... UK rejoining on past uh, terms. And then I think there's a very interesting point you're pointing to, which is the EU is in an enlargement process now, not only about the Western Bal Balkans, it's also about Ukraine, it's also about uh, Moldova and potentially uh, beyond. And that is in itself a very big challenge to the, to the EU. Meanwhile, there's no appetite currently for politicians on either side, either the UK or the EU, to reopen what was a deeply corrosive debate. Polls show a strong outlook for a Labour-led government in the UK in the next year. However, its leader Keir Starmer has ruled out a return to the EU. Shona Murray, Euronews, Brussels.